welcome to stay creative today in this video i'm going to be making a 3 axis robotic arm which can be controlled by dtmf let's go as you expected i'm going to be using these servo motors to build our robotic arm i placed the two servo motors in this way so that the bottom servo can rotate in xy plane and top servo can move in z axis now let's talk about the controlling part in my previous video i explained how this dtm of decoder works in the dial pad i chose these five buttons for the control 4 and 6 is to increase and decrease the angle of bottom servo and 2 and 8 is for top servo to increase and decrease its angle we need a controller to control all these stuffs so i chose arduino nano as my controller you can also use some of the microcontrollers now just recall how this decoder works this module has four output pins the dtm of decoder differentiates the tones of dtmf and generates the binary series equal to the key pressed in the keypad of dtmf say you are pressing number 2 let us consider this number as an hexadecimal. Then the logical state of these four output pins is the 4-bit binary of this hexadecimal number. In order to move the servo, Arduino has to understand which button is pressed. Therefore, it has to read the logical states of these four output pins. So I connected pin D4, D5, D6 and D7 with these four output pins of a decoder module. Then I connected the positive and negative terminal of a servo with 5 volts and ground respectively. I connected the control pin of the bottom servo with pin D3 and top servos with pin D9. And this is overall schematic. But uh, I'm not satisfied with this because our robotic arm cannot lift or drop anything as our human hand does. So I came out with a new idea of attaching an electromagnet to the arm. But there is a problem. Arduino cannot provide enough current required for this coil. The resistance of this coil is around 4 ohms. So, at 5 volts, required current is around 1.25 amps. Arduino board can supply only 40 milliamps. This is not enough. To get a high volts power supply, we can use a relay. So, I made a small changes in our circuit. I connected the collector of NPN type transistor to one terminal of the relay and the base with pin D2. And I connected the emitter with ground pin. I connected the common pin of the relay to the positive terminal of external power supply. I connected the another terminal of the relay to the positive rail. One free end of the coil is connected with NO pin of the relay and another free end is connected with negative terminal of the external power source. Then I chose button 1 and 9 to turn on and off the electromagnet by turning pin D2 high and low respectively. After making little bit corrections to our program, I uploaded the sketch to my board. Now it's all done.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Follow Stay Creative in Facebook and Instagram. Links of these pages are given in the description. If you didn't subscribe to Stay Creative, just click over here to subscribe. And finally, thanks for watching.